I'm Dr. Manish Agrawal, test specialist, and today we are going to see how to intubate patient using a rigid bronchoscope. So this is how we should hold our bronchoscope. If you look at the camera, it should make a half moon like structure. It should not be like this. You should not see the whole barrel and it should not be out too much from the barrel. So the ideal position is to be in the barrel like a half crescent sign. And again, you should hold your telescope firmly so that you should not damage your telescope. So I'm going to do it in a dummy. So the patient neck has to be fully flexed and you have to take care that you should not damage the lip or the patient tooth. So always keep your thumb protecting the patient lip or tooth. So you go right down and you have to see the landmarks. There are four landmarks essentially. First is uvula, you move. see the uvula, you move ahead, see the base of tongue, Thumb. base of tongue, then you see the, the epiglottis. epiglottis, go down the epiglottis, and then you see the vocal cord. And you see the vocal cord, go ahead, and while negotiating the vocal cord, do a corkscrew movement, go in, yeah. and then you are there in the trachea. So once you are in trachea, you can further go in and the good thing about bronchoscope is you actually do a right main bronchus intubation. So right main bronchus intubation, come out, you actually can go into the left, left main bronchus. bronchus. Sorry for this is how you go into a left main left bronchus. bronchus and then if you look closely you can actually gent ventilate the patient yeah. from this port or from where you can have a jet ventilate you can jet ventilate from this port okay or you can have a attachment ammo bag attachment to this port show me the ammo bag this is the ammo bag So it's a like this or a ventilatory circuit can be attached to the opening. Please remove the ammo bag. So first comes the vocal cords. Come out, then comes the base of tongue. That was epiglottis, then the base of tongue, and then we come out. Ola. Ola and we are out of the neck. So again, we'll do it swiftly. Full extension of the neck. Uvula, base of tongue. Do the extension of the neck and then taking care of patient lip and tooth, we go in, follow the landmarks. First is the uvula, then come the base of tongue. Then come the epiglottis, once you see epiglottis, go down the epiglottis and then you st look, start looking at the vocal cords. Once you look at the vocal cord, do a corkscrew movement, go in, again corkscrew movement, come straight and then you are in the trachea and we are looking at the carina. So if you practice it, it's actually not a very tough thing to do. So while we are coming out, in the same thing, we are coming out of look at the vocal cord. 
glottis. We found the epiglottis and the base of tongue. And then if you see, you can see the uvula and we are 